Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to the basement as I'm trying to catch up on everything. And that includes episode two of 1923, where we got introduced to a lot of characters and some timelines. And if you've been watching my reactions, you know I love a nice clean timeline. And some of the info I was getting wasn't quite dry bean. But with the helps of some of y'alls, I think, I think I got it sort of straight because here's, mm -hmm. so based on what like Jacob and Elsa's backstory and whatnot. So Jacob was called to Montana and it, we do the math, it's roughly 11 years after James Dutton and family hit Montana. So they were only there 11 years. Now, we did get a flashback opening in Yellowstone that seemed odd at the time with James out going after cattle, wrestlers, whatever. Margaret's having dinner with two boys. One we knew was John. The other one, I did not catch their name. Apparently it was Spencer, but he looked a lot older than 11, at least to me and to my memory. Maybe he was younger, but he looked a little bit older. And then we heard from Elsa that James had died. So I'm guessing that's when James died was in that gunfight. Calls up to Jacob, who we had heard Jack squat nothing about, saying, please come to Montana, help with the land. Jacob gets there. I think I said Jacob. Jacob gets there. Margaret's dead. The boys are frozen. Now, Elsa also said that only one of the sons would live old enough to see his children move on. And then we got Jack. And I was confused at who exactly Jack was. I thought he might have also been a son of James, but he wouldn't be nearly old enough. But he was calling Heron Mill an auntie. But then she also said to him, to Jack, that Jacob, Jacob, your father's coming home soon. So that's where I was getting lost. Also, as far as Spencer's concerned, if Spencer was the young boy that we saw in the flashback. He's be 40s, late 30s, and he's looking good. He is looking good for a man who's been through the traumas of war and out in Africa fighting all the, all the animals. He's doing something really well. So yeah, not exactly clear. I think that's how it goes down. So supposedly all we're saying that Jack is John's son. So where's John? Where's John? Where's John? Or if that's the son that got to see his children grow up, that Elsa was talking about. Does that mean Spencer's gonna die? <laughs> what is happening? Speaking of Spencer, he's out in the wilds of, of Africa fighting leopards and that leopard took that woman down. It took her down, feasting upon her innards, then took her up into the tree to feast some more. Wow. So what's gonna happen next, y'all? Don't know, we'll have to watch and see. So thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. If you haven't already, hit subscribe because I would greatly appreciate that. And also please remember, I will have full episode watch along of this series and others on Patreon. Would love to see you there. So we're gonna get on the big cozy blanket and because today and my time is St. Patrick's Day, Slancha, I got my Jameson and <laughs> ginger ale with some lime. It's delightful. I hope you have your favorite beverage as well, and let's get to it. We're right with the leopards. Oh, 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 he's not dead yet. Where are his, there they are. <laughs> like, where are his people? Oh, what shit? What? They did not seem prepared. Oh, and that leopard took them off right quick. Oh, that's a death. That's a death. That's a death crick of the jugular. Ooh, ooh, there's no coming back from that out in the wilds of Africa. I'll send for a doctor. Oh. No need. Did 
So it's the thought in the head of you all and your need for an adventure and being in a place where truthfully you kind of don't have any right to be has caused this trauma. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Is that what's, is that what's going through his head? Tell these people to go back to the tent. Return to your quarters, please. All is safe. Uh, nobody's no noticing blonde girl's missing. It was a leopardess. I've never seen a female hunt man. How's the husband holding up? How do you think? I can't say I'm familiar with treating a leopard attack. They got a bunch of shit in their claws. If you don't clean it good, I'll have gangrene within a week. I, I have iodine and bromine. I need to get it deep into the wound. That's why he's uh, liquoring up now. Linda needs to take Agisha home. I'll get them on the train. That was an interesting exchange. Oh. I wish I had something for the pain. That's what the whiskey's for. Well, it kind of also helped him bleed out, though, too, right? No, 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 no. My God, man. Don't. The closest I've been to a leopard is 20 feet. And Don't get all I excited. Sleep for a week after. What was that like? Fighting People. that thing with your bare hands. What was that like? You People say you were sorry. have died. Sorry? About my friend. People died. Which friend? The one who died for you. I'm sending him on the train. But you didn't say that you were sorry. They were a breeding pair, Holland. Breeding pairs hunt together, but you only showed us one set of tracks. You knew. I didn't know. You knew. If I'd known, I would have never split us up. I would have kept us together. Now say you're sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. I didn't lose anything. I'm sorry for his loss. Yes, his children. I'm sorry for him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Because I'm going to shoot you now. That's what he was thinking. The only reason I'm not killing you right now is because I need a ride to Nairobi in the morning. After that, your use of me, your, my use of you is done. Stabby, stabby. So that woman also died. Just because. Now back. Back to the great battle, sheep versus cattle. Listen, that's a gunshot. I'm surprised they didn't hear all the sheep going. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! And this man, right now, thinks he's gonna get away with this. <gasps> he thinks he's gonna get away with that. What? These sheep are worth your lives. Okay, okay, good to know, good to know. Son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. You come on my land with your prairie maggots. And you sh shot the kin. I shot the new one. I don't know who shot. They're with you. I thought the boy shot the us. Which one shot at you? They was all shooting at me. I'll hunt us up some trees. You're gonna hang us? Yeah. Hang me? Yeah, they, they kind of, they kind of told you you were. They were. And you're gonna hang us? You, you fucked around, pumpkin, and now you're finding out. And see how long it takes the state of Montana to fucking hang you? What did I tell you I'd do if I found your sheep grazing another man's land? And. And Pick eight cowboys and round up these sheep. Start pushing them towards the res. Oh no, now the reservation's gonna get stuck with these sheep. They're starving on the res. Starving. Oh. We'll fix that. Oh. You owe my nephew a horse. Oh. See how long it takes the state of Montana. I'm guessing even at this stage, Jacob is the state of Montana. I got something else in mind. Now, if Mr. Mr. Sheepman had asked, can we have some plot of your land? Here's a dollar. Would that have worked? Would that have been a, a deal? Loin yourselves. 
against the wall facing me. When I say they're all learning how to sweep, sweep. to the edge in my direction. Now sweep. Wow. Oh Jesus. Did I say sweep it off the edge? <laughs> now you have a mess on the steps. <laughs> she has no fucks to give. She thinks her days are numbered anyway. Then grab a dust pan and sweep it off the edge into the pan, then take it to the field and dump it. And then the wind's gonna come in and blow it right back on the porch. <laughs> Place your wet linen on the bar and stretch it out. Grab the bar of soap. This is the most depressing home ec class I've ever seen. And one, two, three. Plunge and scrub. Plunge and scrub. Run it over the linen. One, two, three. Plunge and scrub. Plunge and scrub. Yes, I might have seen far and away a few times. We ask you to bless this food. We ask you to bless this food. That it may nourish. That it may nourish. Be the door that quit you wish. Well, your violence is begetting violence and nobody seems to be figuring this out. Was it worth it? I warned you, Banner. Now you attack my family. That is the thing. It wasn't just being on the land. Shooting at the family. What did he do? Wait, they're not going, they're not going to wait there at and, and make sure that this the job was done? They're not gonna make sure the job was done. We never caught this girl's name, did we? <gasps> They're gone to hot box her. Perhaps the hot box will teach you the piety Sister Mary felt to impart upon you. If you speak that filth in my school again, I will bury you alive. Is this, is this, bien compris? is this father? Petit sauvage. Yeah. Okay. Is he I is he Irish speaking Irish and it's filth and what? Yes, I'm getting all angry. So can you escape? Is there escaping from there? We ain't gonna get that wagon up any higher. How you wanna keep these boys fed? We'll pack a camp up on mules. So what was are we gonna learn, I should say, what Jacob was doing prior? to 1883 and the call, please come to Montana. And where was no mention of him before? He doesn't have kids. Yes, I want to know all the backstory. Do you think any even made it? Depends on the loyalty of their horse. Oh, he's on candy pen. I figure a few will make it. And then they'll be angry and revengeful. I hope a few do. Why? Someday you're gonna run this place. You gotta understand what this ranch's greatest enemy is. It's other man. Man will choose to take what you built rather than try and build it for himself. Your enemies have gotta be so terrified that their fear is greater than their greed. They gave those men a chance because they wanted them to tell the world what happened when they crossed me. One has to live the tale, to tell the tale. Is Elizabeth asleep? She's upstairs, singing all the ways he loves me. <laughs> I don't think we know who this woman is either. You'd think growing up on a ranch would have leathered that one a bit. You know, she grew up in Boston, somewhere out here like it was a lodge in the park. I'm sure my son will remedy that if he hasn't already. Oh! I know you see it. I see it. Wait. I just wasn't gonna mention it. So this is Jack's mom? I don't know where the recklessness in him comes from. This is Jack's mom. Not from me. And John is the most deliberate man I ever met. I was hoping his wife would take some of the fire out of the next generation. She's his wife? 
talking to herself in a third person. See, this is where I'm getting adrift. Oh boy, that can't be shit, it? Oh boy, oh boy. So does this man have sons, brothers, family? Like who is he? Who's he trying to save his ranch for? That's not there. Here to see the superintendent. Bitch, no. No. Do you have an appointment? The Ikawia, the Chihuahua. Shotalesh, Kukaba, Alole. Forever. Kaba, they do book. Who are these guys? Reservation people? We don't want sheep. With the sheep, the grass goes away and the wolves come. I'm no fan of them either, but they cook pretty good. You are the Dutton. Mm -hmm. Work for them. Found these sheep in the mountains. Mr. Dutton said to bring them to you. They're a gift. A gift. Hey. You tell Dutton. We're not his garbage can? No. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he might be like, we're not your trash dump. Don't pull your garbage onto where we are. But maybe they are grateful for now. So who's gonna come after these sheep and hurt these nice people? That is so many men and horses. My granddaughter is in a government boarding school in the Dakota. The Baptists have day schools on the reservation. She lived with me before they took her. Where are her parents? Her mother is no more. Her father works the reservation herd. Mother's dead, father abandoned her. Not abandoned, working. But not at her home. That's abandoned. I want to hit these people so hard with a stick. Live with their immediate family in their primary residence. If you wish to be her immediate family, you must legally adopt her. There is no judge. You are the judge. There is a magistrate in Crow Agency. Go there. Ragey, ragey. Come now, child. Work this all through your hair. She doesn't give a crap right now, woman. I'd say she's in enough, sister. Can you speak? Fuck off! You batter my face with no provocation. But sit idly by as Sister Alice runs her filthy hands across you. You think I'm your adversary, but I'm not. Then quit acting like it. I'm your salvation, Tiona. I offer all the skills required for a young woman to thrive as mother and wife. How to farm, how to cook, how to clean. I offer all the skills you need to live a bountiful life. As a slave? I've sworn to kill the Indian in you. I will keep my word. Good God! Jesus! You attack me without provocation. If you ever lay a hand on me again, I'll kill the rest of you. Not if I kill you first. Right, Spencer, what's been going on? Yeah, these three storylines are so, so opposite of each other. I forget where I'm at. Oh. 
children know. Oh, children know. <laughs> Let the man enjoy his whiskey in peace. My friends are too intimidated to ask, so they sent me. Ask what? American. I'll never understand why you British are always so shocked to find an American anywhere but America. Because it's so far. Look how far you've traveled, I'm not shocked to meet you. Because obviously you're not local. I like your style, sir. What do you want? What is this question you've been sent to ask me? I don't have to ask it now, I know the answer. You're a hunter. What gave it away? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I can't understand anything you're saying. You're Spencer Dutton, the American war hero who hunts the nanny. You're famous in case you were unaware. I was unaware. <laughs> well, you are. It said you killed one with your bare hands. <laughs> Believe everything you hear? No, no, and I want it to be true. Why would you want that to be true? For the romance of it. There's no romance in it. People died. Then why do you do it? Because I want to die. Because dying is the most alive you'll ever feel. You don't see the romance in that. Says a very privileged woman. I would want somebody who's not quite so silly to catch Spencer's attention. Maybe someone a bit more like Kara. <laughs> Why I don't think was ever silly. So where are you off to now, Spencer? I need you in Tanganyika. Leopard or lion? Hyena. You don't have anyone at the camp that can handle it? Oh, it's not near a camp. It's hitting the engineers on the railroad. <gasps> oh. Can you hold a rifle to that shoulder? Yeah, I can hold a rifle. How's the road to Tonganika? Terrible, filled with hyenas. I've settled your tab at the bar. Not done yet. Oh, <laughs> I have factored in the future. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while you'll hear the strains of the Yellowstone theme song playing around. But when you consider the bride, perhaps the company of lions makes perfect sense. <laughs> After all, she shares their spirit. <laughs> Cheers. Well, thank you. Keep it short. Keep it old. Oh. If you'll excuse me. She does not want to be engaged anymore. I have been placed on a train with a destination not my choosing. It's kind. It's more than I can say for most. I'm the real estate transaction, Jennifer. Mm hmm. That's all this is. You go. I'll be along. After I conveniently ran into Spencer. You're just like a wildlife here. Migrating from watering hill to watering hill. I suppose I'll see you at the bar in the breakfast hall in the morning. I'll be gone in the morning. Where does the next adventure take you? East. Where does it take you? I'm afraid all my adventures are over. That's a shame. I agree. <laughs> Perhaps you'd whisk me away on your horse. Sure, stranger. Alexandra! <laughs> I see what you mean. Good morning. She's gonna stow away in his backpack. <laughs> Convenient. Don't do it. Hear the road to San Gates bad? Definitely. You'll find it most unpleasant. But you're driving him. But you're driving him. <laughs> and he sits in the front. He hasn't left yet. Come back, Shane, come back. Oh, 
good are your boots at running? Alexandra. She's not really running, is she? Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Stop the car. <laughs> Got room for another? No, not really. <laughs> My Please. Nice shining armor. Uh, this is presumptuous. What are your skills on the road? Where I'm going is dangerous. Let's look death in the eye then, shall we? He's not being funny and it's not romantic. I guess I'm just a bit more of a realist. Oh, punk. I'm the one who loves you. <laughs> wow. She did give a parting shot. Well, now he's got somebody he's got to watch out for and not watch his own back. What kind of a liability is that going to be? Would you call this a quiet episode? <laughs> don't know if it's quiet. No, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, so our three storylines. Tiona, Reservation School, Spencer, and then, and then Yellowstone Ranch. Are they going to ever cross over? I'm curious to find out. And how does it lead to the legacy of Yellowstone? So that's what I want from these prequels. I want them to directly lead into the legacies of Yellowstone. And, and at least with 1883, it didn't really. It was like big story. And oh, by the way, now here we are. <laughs> And we sort of got that with here, too, with people that weren't even really connected. And where's John? Where's John Dutton? And all of this, because Emma, I guess, was his wife, although she was referring to herself in the third person. Jack's mom, yes. Or she a step second wife? And where's John? Because they didn't necessarily speak to him as if he was past tense, but they spoke as if he wasn't there. But they didn't necessarily, it didn't sound as if he had died. Did she say Jack is, or John is a man of this? Not he was. I'll have to pay attention to that again when I rewatch this. And we didn't get very much backstory answered. At all. <laughs> we got a little bit with Tiana's grandmother trying, which I'm gonna guess is her grandmother, trying to get her out of this reservation school. It was a little nugget, not even a little nugget. It was a little speck and it was terrible. But where are we going next? Spencer's going east to hunt a hyena, but now that Alexandra's with him, does that change his story goals? Right now he's an identity. What's his essence? Who's the man he's truly gonna be by the end of the series? So far, he's the only one that I can see an actual trajectory starting, where Siona's kind of trapped in the reservation school. Does she go all out? And... Meanwhile, Jacob and the cow are still trying to find food. <laughs> okay, so we took a step. I think it was a tiny one, but we took a step. What do we have? waiting us I don't know but I would like you there with me for that adventure so please take care of yourselves this is your reminder that if you haven't been in a while stand up walk around the living room this is also a reminder to breathe don't know when the last time it was you took a nice decent breath this is now the time to breathe and then come back and watch the next video in the queue so thanks again y'all and until next time